Jesus. Hallelujah. That could set you free from sin. Hallelujah. It's what Christ had did on the cross. Ratty evangelizing at Parramatta and tonight. Six people no, no, already the have received Christ as their Savior. Breakers. Already it's been a wonderful, fruitful night in the Lord. And we're continuing on. We've done the march. We've declared Jesus to Parramatta. We've declared his love, his excitement. Now we're getting around talking to people, anyone who'll listen. Here they are, here's some of the guys evangelizing here. I'm just walking around showing you the environment here. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Sydney is a beautiful city. But it'd be more beautiful when many more people come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's why we're here tonight. We're here because we care. We care because God cares. We care for every person who is not saved. Every person. In the name of Jesus. I'm gonna go up and talk to these people, see if I can engage a conversation about Jesus. Hey guys, you're doing a good job there. You reckon I could do that? Uh, hey? <laughs> Have a look at me, I'm only a young bloke. I'm only, I'm only about 70, is that all right? You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm 70. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Show me, show me something, come on, let's see. Let's see. Wow, well, look at that. I, I reckon I'd break a leg if I tried that. Let's not. We don't want you to break a leg. No, 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 I better, I better not try. Hey, listen, yeah. let me tell you something. Yeah. You know why I'm here tonight? Why? I'm here to... Tell people about Jesus Christ. You want to be on YouTube? Uh, you like being on, on YouTube? Show all your friends. Really, not, not really. Not really. Not really. Listen, yeah. God loves you. If you were the last person on this earth, think about this. Nobody else around, just you. Jesus would have died for you. That's how much he cares for you. That's how much he values you. Do you know him at all? Thank you, yeah. A lot of people say that to me. You're a Christian, are you? Maronite. Maronite Christian, okay. So you believe in Mary? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Mary was a beautiful woman. She was a spirit-filled woman who, who took, took the body of... who took Jesus, didn't he? Birthed Jesus. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So when, I, when people tell me that they're Christians and that they're religious... I was a Catholic. I was an older boy. So I know something about the Catholic Church. I know Maronite's a little bit different. I've got lots of Maronite uh, Catholic Christian friends. So I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. But they tell me and I tell them, and we all look in the Bible, and the Bible says, unless you're born again, John 3, 3, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. It doesn't mention religion. It doesn't say you need to do works or anything like that. It says, in fact, you can't do anything. It's a free gift. So if I, if I gave you that skateboard, you gave me a dollar, that wouldn't be a free gift, would it? No. You would have bought it from me. No. But salvation is a free gift. You cannot buy it. You cannot earn it. You cannot do good works. You cannot be part of a religious organisation and, and that will not get you to heaven. Jesus said he's the only way. He's the only mediator. There's no one else but him. No one else. So have you ever invited him into your heart? Have you ever asked him to wash your sin away? That's the life you live. Yeah? Okay. So it's, it's not about baptism. It's not about the sacraments. It's not about the saints. And it's not about Mary. I know people. The journey. About the journey you take. The journey. Sorry. The journey. The journey. Okay. Actually, it's about being renewed in your spirit, being born again, when God Himself changes something in you. If that, if that hasn't happened, you end up getting inoculated, like a, an injection from the doctor. It's like an inoculation that says, "I'm okay. I'm going to make it to heaven." But Jesus didn't say that said you must be born again if you don't understand that then you, you can be lost you can be forsaken and in darkness and disconnected with God but he said you don't have to stay that way he said if you will open your heart to him let him come in if you hear his voice he will save your eternal soul he will connect you back to God and he says believe in your heart confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord you believe he died on the cross Yes, of course. And he went, he went to the grave. He, he actually died. And then he rose again. You believe that? Yeah? Lots of people believe that. 
But do you believe that he did it for you? He did it for you? Yeah. Okay. That's important. That's what's preached, that's the point. Yes, I know, but a lot of people don't understand that. They think the religion, I think if we do enough good works, that God's got a set of scales up there and he's going to weigh up. Have you done enough good things? I'll let you in. Do you believe that? So what 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 did Jesus do for you? You could do a ton of journeys that still sing. It's like Okay. So why would he let you into his heaven? Why would Jesus let you into his heaven? Okay. 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 It is. Um, so, but over what, what power do you live your life as Jesus? Do you do it in your own strength, or do you do it some other way? How do you think? No, just. What do you mean, like? Okay. It's well, like, if Jesus you said, live your life yeah. with Jesus through how he would do it. So, okay, but do you do that by your own willpower, by your own strength, or is there some oh, it other? Seems like your own it, it is. No, or you, not. Okay. You work with your own willpower, and then you know, okay. Christ, Holy Spirit, okay. would bless you All right. to keep going, to give you the strength. Okay. So, so has Jesus washed away all of your sin? Um, I mean, through confession, you okay. get your sins washed away. Okay. So, so you're, you're on the phone, are you? Or you? calling me. Okay. Sorry. Is it alright if I take this? Yeah, sure. Sure, take it. You're <laughs> God bless. So while, while my young friend here is, is taking his call, I just want to talk about being born again because what it means is that God does something to your spirit and, and religion will not do that for you. It's only a relationship with God. It's only when you open your heart to him and invite him in that you can be saved. So I'm not sure with my friend here whether his attention span's gone or he's going to come back and chat with us. I hope he does because we've managed to get some of the gospel message to him. And God loves every person, no matter where you've come from, no matter what you've done. So we'll see how this goes. We've, we've bombed in on their little skateboard <laughs> event here. And they've been very generous and very respectful and uh, dialoguing with us and talking with us. I'm not sure whether he's going to come back or not. I'm going to ask him in a minute. I think he's busy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking about you. It's all, good. it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. You're, you're a very respectful young man, you know that? Obviously. A lot of people are not. A lot of people give me the finger and they say, you know, go away from me. and They don't want to know about Jesus. But well, you're very respectful. I appreciate that. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so just back on being born again. It's so important. Jesus said, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The kingdom of God. You cannot see it. He didn't say it's not, a, it's not a bad idea to be born again. He said, you must be born again. To make that certain, you can just say a prayer. And it's not the prayer that does it. It's a sincere desire in your heart to know Jesus, to know that he has washed all your sin away and that he has given you all his righteousness. And there's nothing you can do to earn it. You can only receive it. Do you understand that, okay? Okay. that intention. Yeah. So... And he says, if you confess me before man, I will confess you before my Father in heaven. So it's important to, to, speak, to speak it out in front of somebody. You understand? Jesus said, if you, if you reject me before man, I will reject you before my Father in heaven. So you want to get to the day of judgment. We're all going to be judged. And it's only going to be you standing there. It won't be anybody else. Not me, just you and your creator. And he's going to say, why would I? something like this, why would I let you into my heaven? if you have sin on your life. And then if you know Jesus, really know him, he's going to say, Jesus is going to say, I know this man. I've covered his sin. I've taken all his sin upon myself. I've taken the curse of the law, the curse of the original sin of Adam, all that upon myself. This man can be with you forever, Father. That's what you want him to say. So it's important. I'm going to challenge you to, to say that so that you can know for sure that you're safe. Do you want us to say that prayer before God? Are you happy uh, to do that? Not really. Not really? Okay. There's no pressure. I this is 
this is about you, okay? It's about you knowing without a shadow of a doubt that you are saved before God. Sometimes pride keeps us from doing things. We think, why would I say it? Why would I even do that? It's because God commands us to do it. He commands us to do it. He said, confess me before man that, that he is Lord, that he has saved you. Okay? All right. Thank you for your time. That's right. So you don't want to say that prayer? No pressure. No pressure. You're happy? No. Okay. Someday. All right. Okay. So I'm going to give you a track because I think you might want to read about this, what we've talked about. Okay? So take one of those and just have a read. And listen, if you have a change of mind, you don't have to do it with me. You can lay your head on your pillow tonight. You can open your heart and ask him in. Just follow the instructions here. This is so important, my friends. It's not religion relationship all right you're a good boy god bless you and thanks for listening you're a good man you're going to think about it are you okay okay god bless you have fun now be careful of that skateboard i try my best okay god bless cheers okay bye-bye what a good young man so that's how it works hang on okay